Series visited Topeka at Heartland Park. Tony Rain took it. Win on that one. They took a win that day. Oh, and we got big problem in turn four. Sliding right into you. One of those cars is Bob Seneca. Chuck Hemmingson is facing out. Chuck Hemmingson, and there is Paul Payne as well, and Justin Dierks of the 19. There's a fire underneath Justin's car and under the 95 of Hemmingson, as we see Kurt Martin also stopped on the racetrack. And a lot of fluids coming out from underneath the 19 car. And look at Bob Seneca's Bluebird. This is a driver who has had great success at this racetrack, and it has come to a screeching halt here tonight. No worse than 10th. He has either won it or finished second in the first four trips here. He finished 10th here back in July. More importantly, Dave, Bob Seneca has been coming through the points. Five top 10 finishes, two fifth place finishes in the last two races. He's climbed to seventh in the points, so this will hurt him immensely as he's only 97 points ahead of Brandon Sperling, who sits 12th in the points. There is a lot of damage to the front end of this Thunderbird. Let's take a look at this and see if we can figure out what happened here. There's Payne in the yellow and green 47. And Seneca behind Dirks. Oh, the there we go. Martin, Martin, Martin gets Martin involved. Goes around. Martin's in the 43. And boy. Hemmingson looked for a hole, but Seneca and the other car there got involved. And boy, it just closed up in a hurry for Hemmingson trying to get through there. But it started with Kurt Martin. Had contact in the front nose of Paul Payne's 47 car. Justin Dirk spinning to the wall. He's back by the pace car. And Looks like Doug Mayer sliding through there. Not any problems. Well, this will bring a lot of cars on the pit road. Sandy? Well, Paul Payne is one of them. As you can see, they are taping up the bodywork, the fiberglass there in the rear end. They also changed two tires while they were at it. Also ducking into pit road was Brad Loney taking advantage of this opportunity to fix the tight condition. And also out of the race right now, Joe Nutt. Joe, uh, at first it looked like he missed the setup, but now it looks more serious. Yeah, it's uh, going to be... Uh tough night for us. I think we're going to take about 100 laps to get this thing fixed. We think right now we broke the tail shaft off the uh, transmission, so uh, the thing's not driving. It's going down the front stretch, and the thing just kind of darted left on me, so everything kind of broke loose underneath. We're just going to get it fixed and get back out there. It's probably going to take a while, but we need to get points going, so Valvoline's been done good for us this year. Alan Knott, Ravy Ford, uh, just tough night for us. You know, it's getting down to the end of the season. The points count. Okay, then thank you, Joe Nott. He's out of the race for the night. And he was 11th in the points coming into tonight, so he's going to take a hit as well. Let's check in with Dave Burns. Well, I'm standing by with a guy who was moving up in the points as well and had some good runs going. Bob, two incidences tonight have gotten you in trouble. What happened the first time with the spin? Uh, for some reason, Davey thought he ought to hook on me when I went by him. Uh uh, that took care of my day right there. I kind of ruined it. I had to go from the back. And when, you, when you're running in the back of the back with a, you know, the slower car, you, you know something's going to happen. It's just trouble. And it, it was inevitable. Bob, three more races to go, though. You guys are back on the upswing in terms of the performance of your Ford Thunderbird. Uh, what's your outlook for the races at Salem where you've run and run and won quite a bit? I don't know. We're just taking one race at a time here right now. It's not looking too good. Okay, Bob's done for tonight.